All right, hey, what's going on? So uh, I'm redoing this problem actually because I had recorded it earlier, but the problem was that I did, um, I was super tired and made a really like a dumb, uh, uh, like a mistake I wasn't thinking clearly. So it was very, very tired. So I had to take a nap, come back. I ended up solving it without recording it just because uh, I kind of was just in the moment. Uh, so I already know how to solve, so I'm just going to redo what I did again. Um, this is me figuring out what the error was in my original, which I finally figured out. It was because um, it was resetting pointers. You have to be careful about pointers. I was resetting pointers um, for L1, and then I was I, I was creating a cycle. Um, because I was saying L1 equal to L, um, L, L1 um, pointing back to itself. Uh, something like that, but I mean, you can see it here, you can see that uh, I was doing something really weird where, um, well, I don't explain like what these are though, so it's kind of hard to read, but anyways, I'm just going to solve it. Um, solution is pretty straightforward with two pointers, um, and I think you can also use recursion. I just did two pointers for it, so. Um, create an answer. You need it to be, you need this because you need it to be a reference, a pointer, and this doesn't really matter. Uh, I need something that points to answer, and I want to return fret.next. And then for l1.next, now, and as long as l2, oops, l2 is not now, I don't know why I see, uh, don't need to do next. Um, and then basically if l1 dot value is less than l2 dot value then I want to use that one first for my answer so let's say answer dot next equals l1 and then l1 I'll move along and then else we'll just take from l2 straightforward code, uh, just two pointers, um, your anchor, uh, make with, um, and just, and then move answer along, um, you get to the end of it, uh, if one of them is nil, you can just create two for loops, that's what I did down here, um, uh, but, I could just do an if statement too, so I could do it all in one for loop here, probably, just do or, and then say, if, I guess, if L0, L1, if that's the case, then I want to just keep taking from L2, move it along, oops, and continue because I don't want to do this, so continue will go through the next for loop. Um, if L2 equals now, then I want to do take from L1. Okay, so what did I do wrong? Let's see. It's missing the, f the first one from L2, 5. So let's check L2. L2. I just do this. Um. Hmm. Yeah, because... Well, 5 is not less than negative 9, so then you go to 3, 
Oh, I know what the problem is. It's up here. So basically, L1 is now now. So then we're taking from L2. Something happened here. Oh, you know what the problem is? Is that I'm not going to answer dot next. Um. Yeah, so we really have to move this along. So I gotta do this. Cause it's not gonna do this iteration. Okay. Uh, see, yes, that works. A uh, slight mistake. Whoops, and then submit this. This should work and everything. We're good to go. And then I'm gonna go and look at uh, call network. I'm gonna look at discussion real quick. I have to put this in other ways. Um, let's see, recursion. I, gee, I was thinking of recursion as well. What is the recursion method? So recursion uses you just have to return. Um, so if it's null, you just want to return L two. If it's if it, that, that makes sense, so base cases make sense. And then here, if L one value is less than L two value, then um, then you want to say L one dot next is equal to whatever. Oh, okay, and. You want to return L1. Right, so why do you want to do this? Because... Oh, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay, yeah, recursion, I'll upload that. Recursion is pretty straightforward. Um, I mean, it's much simpler than this, actually. Um, if... Uh, L1, I'm gonna just do it real quick and just think about it because I think I have time. Return L2, if L2 is equal to nil, return L1. If L1 dot value is less than L2 dot value, then you want to say L1 or L1 dot next is equal to merge to this. L1 dot next, L2, and then this is the part I don't understand. You have to return L1. And then else, do it for L2. What should this return? Nothing. Okay, I'm gonna run this. So, why does it have to? Why do I need a return statement here? Because I guess if you're trying to find what you're saying what L1 dot next is equal to. Hmm. I see. So it's going to recurse through, set l1.next equal to this, it's going to keep going, l2 all the way till it gets to one of these base cases, and it's going to return that, so it's going to get l1.next now points to this one, and then you return this l1 to the next level above, with it pointing to a new, uh, to a different uh, node, and then that one goes back above, and then uh, just keeps recursing back. Uh, upwards, up like a staircase. Uh, okay, that does make a little more sense. So here we have one and two. So basically, uh, the first one is the one. The first one is the two. And we probably change what it is. 
is 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 so the last return will be the finished result. So two points to the three and the one points to the two. That makes sense. Because basically what happened was it went to the to the two here. Um for here. It went to the two and then it says merged and went to the next and next is four. So then because four is larger, it then went down here and said what's next for L2 and then I think I'll end up getting like four. But then this returns uh the three and actually uh Okay. And then this actually uh returns the three. Hmm. Okay, cool.